Are you ready to embrace the future of gaming? Whoa! Did you see that? I was playing the original! The Nintendo 64 features graphics like you've never seen. 3D, true polygons, true depth, true action. I can go here! I can go there! I can go everywhere! Blink and you'll miss it. The ever acrobatic Super Mario has a new 3D adventure. Super Mario 64. Make the Z axis your bitch. I can't believe my fucking eyes! The future is here and it's looking bright. Get in or get out. This is the best thing of my life! Welcome to Analog Horror Week! Hey J Rex! Hey Domino Head! Hey Seabass! Hey Nyan! Hey Egg! Hey GB! Hey Definitely Not a Cartoon! Hey Nikki! Greetings, Nikki! Hey Fangs of Mayhem! Hey Weird Name! Hey Chris uh Hey Chrissy again! Hey Boo Guy Mike! Hey Moth Ghost! A big chunky chungus. Ugh, thank you though. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hey Boogie. Hey Pablo the Cat. Hey Drew Age. Hey Aided Mercury. Hey Nick. Hey Lovey Puppy. Hey Axolotl Boy. Hey Seabass. Yeah, very stoked for Analog Horror Week. So, uh, before we start off, uh. I've been looking forward to doing this all month! Like, this, not this stream, because, like, this stream, like, I decided to do it, like, just a few days ago. But, I mean, just the concept of an analog horror week, I've been looking forward to doing for, like, this entire fucking month. Hey, Kirby Doll! My first whole month! Hey! Thank you! Thank you for the two months! You were playing this? No, I'm not- I was not playing this. In fact, this is literal. I literally just like someone on my Discord uh, was apparently involved in making this, and I just saw the page, and I was like, "Hey, that's like some Nintendo 64 like retro creepy nonsense." I love that kind of shit. I would love to make a game like this at some point. So yeah, fuck it. Why not just put it at the start of Analog Horror Week? Let's see how it goes. Analog can be considered repetitive, but the stuff that kicks ass kicks hard. Yeah, Nikki! Hey, Kaiju! Welcome to the Toxic Cesspit. So, basically, what do I mean by Analog Horror Week? Because a lot of people here may just, like, consider Analog Horror to be just, like, VHS of, like, Walton Files or whatever the fuck. Analog Horror can be just, can be so much more than that. Hello, Vink. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the super chat. Hello from Germany. Yay! I heard they legalized wheat there uh, recently. I am very jealous. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vink to the moon. Vink go to the moon. Thank you. But yeah, analog horror can be considered many things. It can be considered uh, mostly just any type of horror series or game. 
that is based off of old technology. So, for example, instead of VHS, you could have, like, retro games, like PlayStation or Nintendo 64, as long as you record it off of, like, a CRT. So, stuff like uh, Ben Drowned or Crow 64, in my opinion, that also counts as analog horror. Which is why, for the start of Analog Horror Week, we're gonna be playing uh, Shipwreck 64! Um, I haven't seen much of this game. Uh, apparently, uh, from what I talked about with the developer, which is Squeaks, uh, the game is supposed to be kind of like uh, a 30-minute experience that you can replay over and over and over and over again to get different results. Which is why I kind of added the fucking Majora's Mask music at the start. Uh, essentially, we're going to be playing this game uh, first with a completely normal playthrough. We're just gonna we're just gonna get to the end of the game and see what happens, and if nothing spooky happens, then that's completely fine. If uh, after that we aren't not satisfied, we're gonna play through the game again, and we're gonna start to break it because apparently the whole point of this game is to do stuff out of order. And getting and doing that out of order stuff gets you different creepy things, you know. So it's a, apparently a perfect game for me because I'm built to break games. Break the game, fell hell yeah. Uh, hello. Just finished my stream and came over. How are you, Phil? Hey, Aries. Uh, nothing much. Just uh, starting a good event week. Uh, pretty much. This is pretty much my my break. This week. Like, I still have a lot of stuff to do, but I've been wanting to do one of these events that was not FNAF for a while, so... I I have been extremely looking forward to doing this event for a while now. Security Breach Simulator? Oh, don't worry. I don't think this game is gonna be nearly as broken as Security Breach. It's gonna be fine. Uh... I love breaking games. I do too, Mop Ghost. Especially if they expect me to do it. Hey, Phil, I'm watching in a car right now. Good luck! I hope I also, I can watch your streams for this month. Hey, thank you, Candy! Uh, the third month for me is coming, and I always the wanted to make- The third month for me is coming, and I always wanted thank to you, make Digon. an analog horror web series, but I'm not very resources enough to make one. Surprisingly enough, to make a good horror, like, uh, analog horror, like, series nowadays, you need to actually have a lot of skills for it. Like, initially, like, with the, with the advent of, like, that FNAF VHS, uh, series by Squimpus, like, the, the, the bar was set very low initially, but nowadays to stand out from the crowd, you kind of need to know a lot. You need to know, at least know 3D modeling, be able to, like, get, like, your hands in an actual antique, like, genuine VHS camera to be able to produce, uh, the result, like, like, genuine quality because people are, like, up their ass about... Uh, VHS filters being used. Like, if you want to make a good analog horror series, you need to pull a lot of effort. I haven't watched many of them, but I have seen people talk about them online. Uh, hopefully you guys will be, uh, will be, <laughs> will be there for me on Saturday, uh, when we watched all the main, the main ones, like, uh, the Back Rooms, the Walton Files, and, uh, the Mandela Catalog. I've only watched the Mandela- I mean, I've only watched uh, the Walton Files out of those three. So I have no idea what to expect for the other two. Hell yeah! Hello, Philium! Hey, Bonzi! Mm. <sighs> uh, also, maybe we can probably watch Local Local 58 and maybe the Gemini, Gemini Home Entertainment, but I'm not quite sure we're going to be able to make it to those. It depends on how long the other series are. Uh, also, not to mention, you have to connect the dots for your story if you want to make it good analog horror. It depends, gun, uh, Candy, because sometimes people can just make absolute nonsense in a YouTube video, uh, like, be vague and contradictory, and as long as, like, MatPat grabs your series and tries to explain that to people on YouTube, then you'll be fine. It doesn't really ma Nowadays, nowadays for indie game developers and indie, like, uh, content creators, it doesn't really matter if you have a good story or, like, a coherent story in the slightest, as long as you can get those, like, oh, theory people out there to explain the, the thing for you, for, for your audience. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of drifting off to something completely different from what we're doing. Tonight, we're playing Shipwreck 64. I wonder... 
what the story for this is going to be. If you want to hear my thoughts before we start, uh, from what I understand, you are playing a retro N64 game about a little beaver being shipwrecked on an, on an island, but at the same time, the banner for the game had a 3D model of the beaver in, like, an actual resort area. I don't know where that is going to come into play, so that's... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird out. Like, I, I added the banner to the thumbnail of this stream because I was kind of weirded out by it. I hope that comes into play later. Uh, anyways, I think it's time to start. Uh, unreleased N64 prototype. Hmm. Maybe. Is this Zelda music? Yes! Majora's Mask. One of the only uh, Zelda games that I actually finished and played. Uh, played and finished. Uh, when it came out. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones because it's actually fucking creepy, unlike all the other ones. Uh, Phil, do you plan to get Martin Walla himself to, as a co-host when you watch The Walton Files? No, I don't really talk to Martin very much. Like, <laughs> for some reason, some people think that Martin and I are, like, best friends or some shit. Because we're both Chilean? Like, you think all the Chilean people know each other? No, not really. I don't know what that guy's up to. Hopefully he's good, though. All right! Time to start the video game. I'm gonna go to BRB and I'll get the game up right in a few minutes. Like capybaras. Man, I one day I I wish I could like make a like a Majora's Mask stream. I fucking love that game. Anyways, Shebrick sixty four. Open this game up. This has an intro that I need to oh, uh, show to people really fast. Uh, game full. Uh, shit. Window capture. Do it. Broadside N64. Why is it called Broadside? <laughs> You're about to play as an unedited version of Shipwreck 64. Information on the game has been very sparse since its soft launch in 19... 1997. We had spoken to an eBay seller who had gotten their hands on the game, someone named Daniel. The game would not work on any emulators, but after some tinkering, we built our own for this game. This game contains some disturbing artifacts and glitches. It is not for the faint of heart. Everything going forward is exactly as we found it, unaltered. I love this presentation. Ah! Who that on the background? Is that Mr. Broadside? Yay! All right, so the game apparently is built uh, for you to use an N64 controller with, uh, but I don't have that. I have a keyboard, so hopefully the controls are usable. We'll see. Press A. Yeah, Squeaks is on the chat. There we go. Uh, before you start, just want to let you know that this is meant to be linked to an existing ARG called Broadside Be Beach, hence the name of the file. Oh, it was just a day like any other. The fuck is that thing on the left? Oh! Bucky and his friends were on a fishing trip. Who it is a beaver. Around then, when Bucky noticed a storm in the distance. How much did I miss? I just got here. Welcome, it's literally just the start. We, He warned to tread carefully as the seas may be chaotic ahead. But you read the title so you know this, this isn't what happened.
Bucky crashed his boat into the island. He survived, yet his friends seem to have been taken by wolves for ruining the peace of the island. Now you get to help Bucky gather his friends and escape. Yeah. Did he crash on purpose? I don't fucking know. Uh? There you go. What are these instruments? Ooh, okay. It's a bit... A bit wonky, but that's expected. What are these sound effects? I, they're very familiar to me. Alright, so, like I promised at the very start of the stream, we're gonna be playing this game for- like, uh, we're gonna be playing this one run completely normally. We're not gonna try to break the game. Then, we're gonna try to do some shit. It's literally just a Mario 64 sign. The park. thing away from me. Please. Uh, hold on. No. Shit, there we go. The beach. What is this even? Oh, hello. Oh, you're the wolves. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of, like, Croc for the PS1. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. Oh, what do we got here? I've already put all your other friends to work, but I think I can do just the same for you, buddy. Jesus. Now, a little while away from here, there's a fort that's laid abandoned for a very long time now. And inside of that, mounds of treasure. Mounds! of it, and then bring it back to me and give you your boat back. How's that sound, buddy? Eye for an eye. Alright, that sounds Go about on, right. Get oh, shit. Already? Alright, we have found three. Thank this you, Will. This game has heavy wear N64 vibes if anyone here knows what I mean. The instruments kind of remind me of Croc, or Croc 2. I played that game when I was a kid. I kind of recognize some of the sounds that sound fonts of this. What the fuck are you? Hello? Oh. Alright. I'm just gonna go not gonna pay attention to that. This is just a friendly little... Friendly little mascot game! No horror to find here. Oh no, that thing. But it was an enemy for a second. Almost halfway there. Yeah, the controls are not bad at so far. I like that the text like clips into the wall. Because it's like an actual physical object in front of the screen. Almost there. There you go. Perfect. You got your boat back. What's the sound in the background? Don't worry about it! <laughs> oh, would you look at that! Oh, you've done yourself well today. You can have your boat back. I don't mind at all, really. Yay! Ah, rich. What? Alright, now we got our boat, boat back. That's great. Let's see what else we can find on this island. this. 
camera. Okay. Where does this go? Living quarters. Hmm, there was someone else back there, so I'm just gonna check that out first. Everyone have that- have a Banjo-Kazooie vibe? That also works. I mean, that's a Rareware game. The only thing that, like, bothers me is that the camera is, like, way too low to the ground, so I can't see what's, like, directly in front of me. Hello! You're kinda cute! The fuck is probation? Sure! Friends! Just another find the object game. Don't follow me around, Creepo. Those the coconuts? Yes, they are. Yeah, see, this is why, like, third-person games have, like, the camera, like, above the, above the main character, because... If you have it low to the ground like this, you barely know where you're going. It feels like I'm driving a car. Like, can I, I kind of need to, like, walk left and right to see, like, where I'm, like, directly going. Oh, yeah, punch Olive. What? I can punch? I can't. Hey, I bet it beta tested this game. Good to see you play it. Yeah. It's kind of a nice atmosphere so far, just not a lot going on at the moment. We'll have to see. This game is like one gigabyte in size, so like I'm I'm curious as to what what like what the fuck is like filling up like the one gigabyte of this game. Cause like this def this map definitely isn't it. Oh, shit. Oh, I can actually, like, punch. I don't wanna punch- I don't wanna punch this girl. I- I wanna- I wanna- I wanna, I wanna collect the coconut for her. Alright, I'll punch her once. <laughs> there we go. Perfect! You freed Olive Otter! What happens if I just jump out? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Phil Moore punches women if they deserve it. Alright, so, E for interacting, U for slapping. Yeah, that's some shit, right? There we go. Hmm. That's obviously a cipher of some kind. What? Oh, okay, hello. Is that a bear? I didn't- I didn't try to break- Okay, what the fuck is that? Yeah! Okay, let's get the fuck out of that place. I- I don't want- I don't want any creepy shit. I just wanna- I just wanna see some cute- cute animal stuff. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's fine. I don't want to do that. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's ignore the creepy cipher and let's just continue the normal game. Totally normal. Phil says no to spooky stuff. Fucking spaghetti monster. Normal, nice playthrough, exactly. The bitch. 
this is where we were before, right? Yeah, so it does like a loop around the areas. Got it. Can you not go into the houses? Ah, uh, no, I cannot. Hello, sir. Are you a Bucky, friend? Listen, I really need your help. Uh -huh. I had a really bad boat accident, like you did. Really? But with my own boat, and why I'm here. I think my the machinima, boat is like, top of a hill moving and I heads. Need you to get it down for me. Just don't move it if it ever gets dark. What? There's a lot of strange things around here. All right. Let's move that boat. Yeah, I oh, got in. Don't worry, it's just friendly little 64 game. Thank you, Dingus. Three months, baby. Glad to be here. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, Funtime Dingus. I really hope nothing bad happens if I fall into the ocean. Everything is absolutely normal. Why did I see that the fucking beaver was bleeding from his ass for a second? No, no, he's just, the 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 overalls were just clipping into his body. Never mind. I thought he was bleeding. Good, the, the platforming in this game, yep! Should have definitely used an N64 controller. I think it's- I think I haven't fucked up so far though, so I think I'm good. What the fuck is gonna happen if I move while it's dark? And I don't want to find out, actually. Oh, almost. Don't you just hate it when the sun turns off? Is it me or are the pauses getting like slightly longer each time? Uh... Something's supposed to be coming after you when the when it turns dark. I have no idea. I just I'm just playing the the funny beaver game that is like cute and and nostalgic and shit. I, there's not nothing bad's gonna happen if I move while it's dark. No, sorry. No. Why would you ever say that? Why you tell me that shit? All right, we're almost there. Nosferatu keeps turning the lights on and off. Nosferatu! Okay. Look at him playing with the light switch on the corner there. What a silly little fella. There we go, there's the boat. God, I can't see below me, like, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen if I, like, drop from here. Jesus. I'm late, what did I miss? Welcome, Dreamer! We are playing an N64 game, totally. Directly from the, from the console. Whoa! Just jump, jump it! Oh, there we go. It's fine. All right. Yeah, not knowing what might happen if I... Uh, okay. Like, being in the middle of a jump while the lights are off is, like, fucking terrifying. I don't know if that counts as, like, an input or not. Okay. Just, just go. Just go. Yeah! 
you freed Walter Walrus! That text is literally taken out straight from, like, Mario 64. Thank you so much, Bucky. No problem. I could count on you. Alright, I'm gonna go run up to the shore now and hope you can get back. Stir me with them big ol' eyes. Fuck you, walrus. So what is this one? Another cipher! Don't stay too close to this or you're gonna see some weird shit happening. Maybe if I just stand here a little bit. Hmm, yes, it appears I cannot read. Alright. What else is going on in the village? Those eyes on the doors are kinda s weird. Is this like a fucking cult? This does really, like... Like, the game is obviously trying to go for, like, an N64 inspiration, but this really reminds me of Croc 2. Theater. This is obviously a church. Hello there. Are you a friend? Oh, I saw you on the menu. What? Late to the party, aren't you? What? Listen, I was cooking some stuff for the wolves. They're getting a little hungry right now. But uh, is that a person? I have the oven on. Multiple of them. Motherfucker. Uh, can you go in there and just turn it off for me whenever they start to smoke? What? Thank you. <laughs> All right, weirdo. Soundtrack is great. It's only been one song. Come on. Ah, shit. There we go. I wonder what happens if you lose these mini games. Ah, oh, shit. There's a lot of them, actually. Gameplay. That's pretty good. It's pretty simple so far. Shit, 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 shit. Any last ones? Yay! Thank you, Mr. Crow Creature. You freed Giovanni Goose! That's not a fucking goose! That's not- that's a fucking crow! What are you talking about? Go to the board! What? But what if I don't want to? There's obviously way more to this place. What is this weird fucking music? I don't like this music. Let me just explore a little bit more, thank you. The fucking palm trees are clipping into the wall. Now, what the fuck is this sound? Let me just have a little look around on the island right like before we leave. Something ain't right. Is the screen getting dimmer all of a sudden? No, I think that's just the change, like, of the ground texture. Everything is great! Just have to go to the board! Alright, let's go to the board. It is a happy and wholesome game where nothing goes wrong. I seriously want to know how the fuck I can open those doors. 
Uh, maybe if I... Maybe if I go to the park first before going to the boat? You can apparently sprint. Oh, that works. Thank you. That actually makes it way faster. Thank you. Mm. All right, let's just go to the boat. <laughs> Maximum overdrive. Oh, hello, friends. Wait, was that green parasol, parasol always there? Hmm. Anyway. Can I talk with you guys? Can I slap you? Right, let's go, fuckers. Bunny hop out of here! And just like that, Bucky and his friends sailed away! The end! Emulator programming, squeeze the corgi. 3D graphics, fire cat productions. 3D graphics, squeeze the corgi. Bucky dubbing, squeeze willpower. Is this a fucking silicon graphics workstation? It is, isn't it? Huh. So, break the game? Ah, with pleasure, my friend. Just let me get through the the credits first. Yeah, that's a silicon graphics workstation. That's neat. That's literally what the the, the workstation that uh, was used to create the graphics for like all your favorite N N64 games. All right, well, we are finished with uh, Shipwrecked. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming to the stream. I'll see you later tomorrow. Yeah, okay, yeah, everybody knows the bit. All right, let's continue. So, first of all, these kinds of games uh, where you have, like, all this weird shit, like, hidden inside, usually maybe have a secret uh, menu if you just wait in here for long enough. So, maybe if we just wait, there will be something in here. If we press anything but the main keys, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. Bill, grab the bat. Now we do some damage. Because now we can do some damage? All right. Is that a real suggestion? Thank you, Domino Head. Does now turn into a let's talk. Do the game files change? Let me check that out. Uh, nope. It's just regular Unreal Engine files. Let's destroy a computer. Get a firecracker. All right, let's go into the game. That is, pr that is a pretty chill beat. Press A to skip this. And let's see, what would be the first thing I would need to- No, the, the green parasol was always there. Okay, got it. What would be the first thing I would need to do to break this game? Well, first thing that occurs to, my, to me is, obviously, 
we can try to lose the mini games that we won before. Maybe that'll do something. Drown? That is also a great suggestion. Let's try to drown. This is a like a this is like an island slash like marine themed game, so maybe the main the main problem here is drowning. You can see just below the surface. The classic creepypasta drowning scenario. We can see the bottom of the map. Maybe we just if we just go like this. Is there anything below the map that we can see and we can like exploit somehow? Oh, wait. Maybe we can go above the. Maybe we can go above the map by like parkouring over here. Nope, there, that's that's just a wall. That's just literally an invisible wall. Huge ass invisible wall. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna test like test out ideas on how to like break this game while you guys are here. This is basically like QA. These are just reg like a regular invisible wall that we can do. Any we can't do anything here. Let's try to go to one of the areas and see what we can do over there. What if I just punch you? Nothing. Bucky, listen, I really need your help. I had a really bad boat accident. Like you did, but with my own boat, hence why I'm here. My boat is stuck on the top of a hill, and why I can you even to slap? Me. There's obviously just a reason for why. Don't move it if it ever we just need to find out what it There's is. There's a lot of strange things around. Maybe here. move when it's dark. That's one of the things I'm gonna test out. But right now, what if we just literally just jump out of here? Can I break this with my attack? The fact that there's nothing during this is like fucking creepy. Right. So let's just jump out. Okay, let's move. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh Bucky. Listen, I really need your help. I had a You can't move when really the lights go out? Yeah, accident. apparently. And you just like you did, straight up die. But with my own boat. You get fished into the sky? Here. Hold on, let my me try that again. Boat is stuck on the top of a hill and I need you to get it down for me. Just don't move it if it ever gets dark. There's a lot of Let me try to see his face here. while that happens. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, some shit happens and he just gets... What the fuck is this? Oh! Hello! Do I need to move or do anything? Oh! Oh, that's really well animated, actually. What is he trying to do? All right, fella! Got it! Yep. So... One of the ways to get secrets is to fail at the minigame. So let's try that again with the crow, crow fella. Jesus. 
talk to him? All right, well, well if we talk to him again, we're just gonna reset to the same minigame, so. Yeah, punch the otter. That's also one of the things that we could obviously do. If you guys have any other ideas on what I could try to do to break this game, that would also be very much appreciated. Right now, I'm just gonna try to fail at the minigames and see what happens. How do we even fail at the crow one? I guess just let all the furnaces burn out? Maybe it's one of these kinds of games where, like, you can move through a wall. Like, there's a, like, a... There's a divisible path if you go through one of the walls. Cause like, I, I've played fucking retro games before, and... One of the main ways to get secrets is to, like, have fake walls... ...in games, so... Yeah, no. Alright, let's go to the crow. You need to fail at Walter's minigame again. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, because the first time I... Nothing happened, and the second time a cutscene appeared, so... Bucky! Hello? Listen, I really need your help. I had a really bad boat accident. Like you did. But with my own boat, Bo and why boat. I'm here, my boat is stuck on the top of a hill, and I need you to get it down for me. Just yeah, Phil, you need to fail multiple times. Okay. Dark. There's a lot of strange things around here. There are tons of charm. <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck was? Did you fucking see that? For like a second. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, no wonder this game is one gigabyte. Oh, he's fucking gone. Oh, that fucker's just gone! Oh, understood! And the fucking door is open, too! Oh, this is fucking hair-raising, actually. Oh my god! Christ! Okay, this is the same cutscene that we experienced before, yes, yeah, got it. What the fuck is that thing? You killed Walter. Yeah, he's just gone. Okay. Ooh, actually completely new area. Wait! Hold on a second. Next to the walrus, we had a locked door. Next to the crow thing, we had a locked door. And next to the, 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 the squirrel otter thing, there was a locked door. So that means that we can kill every single one of them and get those doors open after you do it. Right, okay, yeah, I got it, okay, yeah, I got it now. Huh, interesting. And this is like, yeah, this is a completely different area. What are you? Oh, what the fuck? Time to massacre some animals. I guess? You're the thing I'm- I keep seeing in the visions? I think. 
Is the whole point of this game that you're, like, worshipping this fucking mascot in an island? Because the doors look pretty fucking culty. Is this a cult game? Have you been tricked into playing a cult game again? Maybe. It's a lot of houses. And <laughs> some of them are just, like, clipping into the wall. Nobody else to talk to, though. It's just... Just the statue. Oh! Hello! Walter? Walter? Are you okay, boy? Oh! Uh, starlings have gone... Oh! Have gone from a small idea... Okay, yeah, no, but l let me read it, though. No, but l let me read it, though. Lewis W. Am I gonna not be able to read that? Shit! Oh, I should have screenshotted that. Fuck. Alright. I guess I don't have the chance to look at that again. Fuck. Lewis W. I guess these might be like real people or something. Might be based on like actual real people instead of like just cartoon animals. You can access the cutscenes through the game files. I will look at that later then. That's good to know. Can I drown myself in this river? No, I cannot, but... Maybe there's something down there. Phil, have you played through Majora's Mask? Yes, my dude. It's one of my favorite N64 games. Also, yeah, at the moment that you touch the water, you kind of, like, get teleported back, so... There's no real point in, like, trying to, like, clip into the water. What are you? Creepy beaver guy. Is this Jared's Leto Island cult? That's currently my theory. We're in a- we're inside of, like, some weird creepy island cult scenario. Did he rotate, or is that just me? Nope, he's always been there. I will have to look at the game files and see the cutscenes later on after, like, I've mostly finished with all of this. Cause... I could not read any of that shit! Jared Leto Simulator. Hmm? I sent you the images of the newspaper you saw. Check your Discord. Oh, thank you, GB! Hold on a second. Uh, GB oh. Hold on. Uh, GB Aura is a regular of the channel. She helps me out a lot whenever I'm having trouble with the stream. There we go. Thank you. Perfect. Everybody say thank you to GB Aura, as always. And let's show this off on the stream. Okay, so... This is what we saw. Starling application form. Nathan name Nathan Stewart. Cause of death assault. Sex male. Target Walter Walrus. Deformity is bleeding. Verdict needs work. Starlings have gone from a small idea and experiment to an essential part of a broadside vacation. As a result. They are very expensive to both create, and even more expensive to destroy in case of any dam damage caused. By signing this form, you hereby swear the at risk of termination. That this starling has been checked, tested, and is healthy, and is in a sound enough state that it will not attack any nearby guests, residents, staff, or other person and or animal. Penalties will be issued if this responsibility is mishandled. If this starling passes its test in the park, you may be able to receive compensation for your time. What the fuck is a starling? 
Starling application. Oh, that's a walrus. That's literally. I thought. I thought that this was like a rock with a hat on top. No, this is like literally an actual walrus. Nathan Stewart. Walter Walrus. That is interesting. I'm not sure what to think of that right now. All right. Uh, shit, I need to fix the screen. Let's continue! I do know that starlings are types of birds, but I don't think- I don't think they're talking about actual starling birds. I think they're talking about something else. Let's go meet the crow thingy. Theater. Maybe I can jump out from the window? No. Can I open this door without you? No, you. I think you need to die. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Something I can do over here? No, I can't really crouch or do anything like that in this game, can I? Eh, it was worth a try anyway. Oh, look who decided to show up. Bit late to the party, aren't you? Listen, I was cooking some stuff for the wolves. They're getting a little hungry right now. But, uh, I left the oven on. Multiple of them. But kill him! And just turned it off. How do you exactly smoke? kill this guy? Thank you. <laughs> I guess just let the ovens. Kill him! Destroy him! Eat his bones! Slap his ass! Slap him! Slap him! I mean, there has to be- there has to be a reason for why we can slap people, right? Yeah, we need to let all these burn out. Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, that's the sound. Did you hear that sound? That's the sound of failure. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Yeah, you can- you can lose once without any effects. Then if you lose twice... <laughs> Show Can't up. really skip these cutscenes. The it's okay, they're very, very short. The they're getting a little hungry right now. You can only but, slap the otter. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. I have the oven on. He's ones. rude. Well, Kill him. Can you go in there and just turn it off for me whenever they start to smoke? Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I will totally do that, my friend. I will not just be standing around in a corner slapping your ass. I lied. Yeah. You do a little funny little prank. Stop assaulting the bird, Phil. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the sound. That's the sound. There we go, 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 there we go! Oh! Oh! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my- Oh, that's fucking awesome! Hell yeah! That's 200% my shit! Nice prank, bro! What the fuck are these sounds? Oh, that's- that's- I love- I love violence! That's fucking disturbing, holy shit, I love it. Oh! Oh! Just, just get me to the minigame. You, you need to die, my friend. You need to fucking die. 
I was cooking some stuff for the wolves. They're getting a little hungry right now. But, uh, Critical damage! Fine. Multiple of them. But, uh, you go in there- I fucking love that! Give me more of that, please! Oh. That's my- that's a hundred percent my shit. <laughs> Seeing cute animals beat the ever-loving shit out of people in brutal ways? Hell yeah, man! Alright, come here, come here, come here. Maybe the mascots are actually alive creatures? Maybe. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to read, like, more documents on this. What the fuck is Broadside Beach, anyway? That is fucking cool! Alright, here we go, boys! Here we go! Brace yourselves! Yeah, he's dead. He's super fucking dead. That was sickening. I love it. Thank you, Zvaz. Yeah, I fucking love it too. And he's gone. All right, let's go into the the next room then. Extra crispy chicken. Oh, brother! Yeah, okay, the, the, I, I used this guy on the thumbnail because I saw him on the banner of the game. I did not realize he, he was going to be a sick fucking murderer. Hell yeah. I respect it. I re who- what the fuck is this- this guy's name, by the way? Who's this guy's name? I want to know, because, like, this fucker gained my appreciation. Bucky. Based Bieber. Hell yeah, Bucky. Not enough cute animal creature mascots. Just, like, straight up, like, destroying a guy's face by, like, slamming him into the wall. With, like, the force of the Hulk. Hell yeah. What are all these pictures? Hell yeah. What? What? Oh yeah, I just realized! That guy died by, like, getting his fucking head slammed into, like, a stove, and, like, the crow, uh, had a minigame about, uh, making sure that the stove wasn't on. Maybe these deaths are correlated? Oh, yeah, they're definitely correlated for sure. I guess you're this guy. Let me get your file. There we go. Took a fucking screenshot of that shit. So I have to, so I can read it later. Hmm. There we go. And now we shall show that off on the actual stream. This is interesting. I, like, okay, so you know how I mostly don't give a fuck about the lore of, uh, of games that I play on stream? Like, I don't give a shit about, like, 99% of the lore in most games I play. If you if you give me something to actually chew on that's going to be interesting, I I will absolutely buy it. Like, I want to see what the fuck is up with this. All right, so Starling application form name Gary Wilson, cause of death severe burns, no face, sex male, target Giovanni Goose, deformities, fork in eye. Verdict must be refined. Tiffany Walters. Starlings have gone from a small idea and experiment for, to an essential part of broadside vacation. As a result, they are very expensive to both create and even more expensive to destroy in case of any damaged cause. By sending this form, you 
hereby swear at risk of termination that this starling has been checked, tested, and is healthy, and in sound enough state to not, to not attack any nearby guests. Staff or other person or animal. Penalties will be issued if this responsibility is mishandled. If this starling passes its test in the park, you may be able to receive compensation for your time. So, the current idea that I'm having with these creatures is that they are actual, like, experiments created to entertain the guests of this park. Now, what I don't understand is if they are created from humans, or if those humans are supposed to be in charge of them. Like, is Tiffany Walters... Yeah, Tiffany Walters is, like, the person that is taking care of this one? Or is it the person that was, like, was based... Like, this guy was based off of? Gary Wilson. Or... Or maybe it's the guy that got his ba Like, his fucking face burnt off. I don't know. But let's continue. You can actually interact with this. Yeah, you're fucked, buddy. Pretty sure Gary became a starling. Huh. Well, they're definitely not robots. They're like weird costume people things. It's not really an application form, it's more like a police report. Huh. What I don't understand is the thing is like the fork in the eye thing. They seem to have like malfunctions or like issues. But why would you assign a worker at a park to make sure to like take care of them? Living costumes, maybe. Uh, let's go to the otter and see what happens. Jesus, that fucking animation was brutal. Where is the last? Place that we need to go to. We need to go to the park. Thank you, Samane. I wish Analog Para wasn't so overdone. I love the art style, but it's easy to get tired of it. Well, obviously. You need to pace yourself, you know? Half of the half of the half of the beauty of uh getting into a specific genre of games or like movies is to just be able to pace yourself and know uh to not have to, like... Hello, dude. No, I'll, I'll leave you for last. Uh, not try to consume everything. Like, you know how people are tired of, like, Marvel movies? Because, like, like a new one comes out, like, every six months? Like, you don't need to watch all of them to enjoy them. Alright. Let's go, motherfucker! Hey. So, uh, we're being held on probation, apparently? So they want me to gather around... Now, I don't know why this game comes into the picture. Like, why is this game related to maybe, like... What the fuck is Broadside Beach in the first place? All right, bitch. Time for your... Time for your scheduled slapping session. <laughs> Slapper! <laughs> it just cuts away. Oh. Alright, bitch. Time for round two. So, uh, this is the only reason the slap is here. Th there's nothing else that you do like that you do with the slap. It's literally just to slap this bitch. Wait, is that the- is that the- the cause of death? Is this gonna be the cause of death? Like, someone, like, assaulting her? Well, fuck you anyways. Jesus Christ, I don't like when it goes dark. Oh, you lose time when you do that. Alright, let's go! What? Thank you, thank you. Yeah! Oh! Okay. 
that's- I really like that one. That's a good effect. That bitch was scary. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> that is fucking cool. Third time. All right. What is this song? This is a different song than before. Let me just explore this around. Oh, this has to be a different song than before. This is a fucking tango song? Yeah, let's uh, explore a little bit. This, like, this looks way more open than the last two. What the fuck? The, why is this mechanic here? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, there's a door there! Shit! Hold on! There's a fucking door there! Hold the fucking phone! Seems to get there in time. Sprint! Right, 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 right. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. I always forget. Where's the door? This is the last attempt, like, we, we can't... This is the last attempt to get this, too. There, 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 there. I think I got it, I think I got it. Yeah! There you go! That's that shit, is that a beating heart up the top? Oh, look at that face! Here we go! That is that a that looks like a beating heart. Go toward it. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Man, that's Fucking awesome visuals. Maybe I missed a cutscene by doing that. Maybe there was a third cutscene that I didn't get by going into that secret door. Huh. What would have happened if you had lost? Yeah, I don't know. See? Can you go into her house now? Yeah, Phil, you missed a cutscene. And the cause of death form? No, 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 no. The cause of death form should be like in that unlocked door over there. I think. Let's see. Phil, love your stuff. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, King. Well, time to play it again. Oh, don't worry. Like that that's the entire point of this game. You're supposed to play it over and over again. What is this fucking Mario 64 sewer bullshit? What is this music? Little oh, bitch. You missed your daily spanking session. There we go. Yeah, those are definitely the characters. Round.
All right, let's actually see this on the... I hate that I need to capture these things. Like, a screen, like screenshot these. I wish I could just be able to read them in the game. All right? So, Starling application form. Olivia Finch. This text is the exact same as the, all the other ones. Cause of death, drown, sex, female. Target, olive otter. Deformities, teeth, pending, pending removal. Verdict, successful. And this was attached to someone named Johnson. So, yeah, these are definitely just, like, dead people getting turned into these creatures that we see in the game. That apparently are supposed to, like, entertain the guests of this fucking resort. I think that's what Broadside Beach is. Unless they go murderous. Yeah, it's successful. I, uh, Phil, I also scream cap that weird brain thing. What is the weird brain thing? Yeah, we're gonna see that later. Thank you, GB. Yeah, uh, unlike other games, these are not incidents. Like, the, the, it's company procedure. To literally, if if you get like an incident or you get like a a murder inside of your like resort, you literally turn the workers into mascot animals. I don't remind me of Dayshit the Freddy's actually. It had a very similar concept, but this one is like actually serious and spooky and scary. Literally, Dayshit the Freddy's. <laughs> Yeah, but this one takes itself a little bit more seriously. Alright, uh, so I guess the final uh, thing we need to do is... Lose at this? <laughs> oh, what do we got here? I've already put all your other friends to work, but I think I can do just the same for you, buddy. Now, a little while away from here, there's a fort that's laid abandoned for a very long time. What? And inside of that, mounds of truth. Mounds! Gather at least 40 of it, and then bring it back to me, and give you your boat back. How's that sound, buddy? Eye for an eye. Go on, get moving. Alright, so... Obvious standard procedure here, just literally lose. But aside from that, let's just try to explore this abandoned place. It's a maze, so maybe we can solve the maze and go somewhere we're not supposed to. Let's just hug the left wall and see what happens. Yeah, what is this thing? Maybe if we just follow it? Or is this just gonna go into the wall? I'm just gonna follow it just in case. Smack him. Check for fake walls. That is what I'm doing. Hello. What? Oh! Oh, so it just suddenly came alive and eat, ate me. Okay. Oh, that's a way to lose, I guess. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Is that a I've Wendigo? I've already put all your other friends to work, but I think I can do that. Is actually literally an actual buddy. Wendigo? Yes. Now, a little while away. The demon. Here, there's a fort that's laid abandoned for a very long time now. Maybe if you're that, directly in front of it. I was directly in front of it before. Gather of it, and then bring it back to me, and give you your boat back. How's that sound, buddy? Eye for an eye. Go on, get hey, me. I love that. People on the chat love when he says, MOUNDS! Alright, let's, uh, let's try to meet that guy again. Is it, is it literally just if, like, I'm directly in front of him? Yeah, he doesn't seem to be here. Just 
keep hugging the wall in case there's something invisible. But just keep walking like nothing wrong. Maybe when he gives you the boat, you can leave and leave. You can leave the other ones alone. That is a theory. I can probably just do that uh, on the next run. Like I can, I can get the cutscene for the otter and then just literally leave them alone in the in the, on the beach. In this area, you can meet Olivia without eyes. Oh my fucking god! You just keep running. I can outrun him, outrun him as easily, so that's fine. That music, though. Oh, did I find something? I don't know how big this fucking maze is. Yeah, it's very easy to tell, Robin Sky. I'm dead. All right, what's gonna happen now? Nothing. Interesting. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? I've already put all your hmm. other friends to work, but I think I can do just all my friends. All my other friends you, are dead, dude. Now, a little while away from here. There's a fort that's laid abandoned for a very long time now. And inside of that, mounds of mounds of treasure. Gather at least forty of it, and then bring it back to me and give you your boat back. How does that sound, buddy? I for an eye. <laughs> mounds. Go on, get moving. You have to die by the time? I don't think so. Yeah, he definitely is just if I if I'm in front of him. Oh my god, what? Okay, that was her, okay. There is nothing for you here. Oh. Alright, he's gone. All my friends are gone. I am literally left all alone on the island. Eat. This is what they were talking about. So now I return to the beach. I didn't even get my boat. So oh there there we go, there's the boat. I guess I can just leave now. Finally some peace and quiet. I feel like I'm missing something. Room. The room. What do you mean the room? The... The wolf didn't have a room associated with him. You mean this? Like, the, the wolf would just, was just hanging around over here. He didn't have, like, a locked room associated with this minigame, I think. I don't know why there's, like, this, like, spinning camera thing.
to be hidden around somewhere. I feel like I just need to go return to the boat. Yep. Irrelevant. Let's just go back to the boat. I can- I, I'm almost bunny hop- bunny hop. Like, to gain some speed. Oh, there we go. Like a combo. Alright. Uh, I guess we're done then. Let's fucking go! Stop! Oh, hello! Who are you? We repeat only what we hear. Come and talk to us. Park, living quarters, beach pool. Park, living quarters, beach pool. Oh, okay, this is not the end of the game at all. What the fuck? Yeah! Yeah! Okay! Maybe I can slap the camera? Can't slap the camera. Buddy, hey, you got the demo ready? Demo? Oh, yeah! It's all set up. When are you coming over? Uh, 5 p.m. sharp. I'll be bringing Brandon over to film the commercial, like what? you asked. For the game? Oh. Already? You did ask for it. I... All right. Please don't let it be like a loud sound. Okay, yeah. I have a lot of respect for this, uh game that not every single cutscene ends with like a gigantic like ear piercing fucking loud sound that like destroys any tension it's like y you know analog horror games where like every five minutes there's like there's like a fucking ear rape fucking annoying high-pitched sound to accompany any of the scary shit like i hate that so, like, I respect this game for, like, not resorting to doing that every single time there's a cutscene. Alright, so it's park, living quarters, and pool, and something else I need to go see later. Hopefully it's not a code. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, found it. What are these things? Is this is this supposed to be like the otter? Park living quarters beach pool. Thank okay. you. So you use this little stick with your thumb down here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the weirdest remote I've ever held. Yeah. It is not too well designed. Just hold it like this, okay? <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, a hand in the middle, and a hand on the right? Yeah, it's got all the best buttons. <laughs> Alright, I... I think I got it? Yeah, now move the joystick around. Oh, they're talking about the N64 oh, controller. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, he, he's walking! They're playing the game. In the TV. They're, like, they're playing the game. And they're using the N64 controller, Connor, and they're complaining look, that the N64 controller sucks. What? Buddy, you, you know what I mean. Just, look, this, this is Bucky. What? This is the face millions around the world recognize as a pop culture icon. That 
is a beaver in a blue suit. <laughs> yeah, I guess Bucky is not the character we're controlling. All right. Hmm. I guess they didn't really like what the game was going to be. Since you came out of one of the houses, can you go into another? I don't think so. Yeah, no, these are these are just like prop houses. I wouldn't be surprised if like one out of this these fifty houses you could go into, but I'm not gonna spend my time going through every single one of them to check if like one of them is like interactable. Maybe. All right. Uh, I guess now is okay. It was park, living quarters, beach, pool. So let's go into the beach right now. Or maybe it was the other way around. It was pool, beach. No, it was definitely pool last. So let's go to the beach. Olivia's area is the pool, by the way. Oh, that's a pool? I thought it was a sewer. There you go, motherfucker. There you are. Has this game scared you yet? Oh, Turtle King? Some of the cutscenes in this game are genuinely fucking disturbing. Forgot to fix my YouTube stuff. Th King is now Grace. There we go. Yeah, of course. Just thank you, thank you, Grace. Connor, you're, you're telling me with the vast amount of characters that we own, you picked up some random wolf and dropped him into the game? He's not We're really not happy with the game. We're not making this game for your son, Connor. We're making this game for the millions of people who look up to our brand. Don't respect. This is what we... Connor, just... Look, I'll, I'll give it to you straight. Do you have any mm -hmm. idea how much money your company sunk into studio grounds? Oh, boy. Yeah, this guy is not happy with this game at all. Let's go to the pool and see what hop on. Pool was round over here. Turn your volume down, kiddos. Depends. Uh, hopefully, this game doesn't end in like a giant fucking ear piercing jump scare. I really, oh my god, I fucking really love the 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 animation of like the beaver like slamming that guy's head into like the wall. That was fucking great. Even though this is literally just this is literally just a rip-off texture of Mario 60 of the Mario 64 sign. That's literally just from the from the actual game. Turn down your volume. Alright! Whatever the fuck, I'm not turning down anything. I'm not turning down shit! Here we go! Do you really think we can extend our generosity to you for that much longer to create this... I don't know, I don't know what, do you, what do you call it? A game? I can't even tell! He's not I'm a gamer, we're clearly. Done. We're not putting up with this project anymore. Unless you can pitch something to us that is the technical marvel you describe, I don't want to see it. We cannot keep sinking money Get into this. Out. Get the fuck out! All right. I can see I'm not wanted here. Check the front yard. Add, grab the camcorder. I left instructions how to add videos to my files. I don't know how to use the computer much, but I truly needed you to do this. I'm proud of you, son. You just need to do this for me. Oh, so this is like a fucking 
expose. This is to expose the fucking company, I guess? As revenge for canceling the game? Huh. It's a whistleblower. Makes sense. Oh, that looks pretty. I guess that's the actual resort. Xbox 360, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Aiden Mercury. That's exactly it. Don't, 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 Ah, you're dead. I guess this was a whistleblower game. Put all the incriminating shit inside of a cutesy little N64 game. Oh! Still more. I don't want to exit. Maybe there's something else besides the exit. Oh, that is a large environment. Windows XP background. Uh, there we go. Yeah, no. We don't have the ability to move on. So is this like catastro Catastrophe Crow? Pretty much. It's actually playable, you know? Credits? I think this is a I think these are the credits. Yeah there you go. The endo Now that I'm finished with that the only things we need are that are left to see are Doing the third minigame for the Otter, I believe, and... I mean, doing the third death for the Otter, and getting the fuck out of the island uh, without the friends. Alright. There's extra content in the folder. We're gonna see that later. We still need one more run of this game. Oh! Hold the fuck your phone! Snap that picture. This game tracks your info and your IP address. I'm one of the devs, trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's see what that one is about. Oh, shit! Hello! Dead boy! No, this this guy's a whistleblower for the company. He didn't really need to make all of this uh, this game all fucking creepy like. He could have just like have had like a, a evidence dot sip like attached to the the files of this game. He didn't really need to go to the trouble of creating a creepy pasta for it. All right, Starling application form. So this is Brandon Lester, cause of death fentanyl. Fentanyl? Fentanyl. Is that like a drug overdose? Male. Target. Bucky Beaver. No deformities and successful. Lewis W. Hey, Lewis was the one that was attached to the walrus as well. 
I guess he's attached to two characters? For some reason? Alright! Let's start again! Was it like they like any other? No, thank you. So this is the regular game. But what we're gonna have to do now is go back to Olivia and get her minigame secret. I think this was the one that I the park, yes. And also probably get the boat from this guy. Alright, bur Alright, girl. A buggy. Hey. I do wish you could skip these cutscenes as well. We're being held on probation, apparently. So they want me to gather around tiny coconuts, but I You don't need the boat to leave. It spawns as soon as you mess up. Yeah, okay. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love doing this. Idiot. Uh, by the way, thoughts on the game so far? Squeaks and I were curious. I'm pretty- I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, it's very simple, but, I mean, it's a free game, so I'm not gonna fucking complain about the amount of, uh, amount of, uh, content in, in it. Uh, so far, there doesn't seem to be many secrets, but that's maybe because I haven't, like, actually, like, tried to go deep and try to, like, clip out of the walls or anything. The only secret that I managed to find was in this area with the... with the door over here. Which, I don't know if you... I don't know if it spawns during the first go. Let me try. Maybe if there's a secret in this area, there's maybe a secret on the other minigames after you mess up. Let's see. Yeah, so there is a- th the door is still there. But it, it can appear uh, during other tries. Hmm. Let's just keep slapping her. But I really like the cutscenes. The cutscenes of this game are awesome. It's- there's such a great reward for, like, finding the alternate paths. Ugh, oh, you like that! That is fucking terrifying. So whoever- whoever the fuck did those cutscenes, great job. Like, actually, chi like, spine-chilling. Hey. So, uh, Alright, let's see the final cutscene. So After we're done with uh, this run, we're gonna go into the game files and we're gonna see what other extra goodies I haven't seen. Alright, bitch. Whoever the fuck invented the slapping mechanic, by the way, good job on that. There we go. What's gonna happen now? Hello, this is Olivia Finch. There we go. I'd like to please submit a complaint. Anonymously, please. Anonymously. Brandon has been showing up every night to my residence. Uh, Brandon Lester, you know, the other costume guy? He just walks by, still wearing the suit, uh, sometimes just placing his hand it's on the window. It's a suit. Other times, he'd grab the sliding glass door, uh, jiggle the handle around, uh, like he wanted in. I'll wear the dead eyes of that stupid costume stare back at me. La last night, though, is the reason I'm doing this. Uh, Brandon walked over and, and, and just 
began to slam his head against the door. I don't know why, but it kept me up for the several hours this went on. He only left at around four in the morning, stumbling away, leaving a gross stain all over the window. Um, please, please, just, just deal with him. I, I can't afford to keep losing sleep. So these workers literally live on the island. Huh. Got it. So they are costumes. They're actually literally like people, like corpses inside of the costumes. Reanimated, maybe? Like, just take the FNAF idea of like stuffing. Stu like people into suits to reanimate them and literally make make that part of your company mission or like company standard like literally if a if a employee dies stuff him in the costume this is going to be the exact same thing person straight up just sounds like Michael Jackson. Thank you, Domino. And just like that, Bucky and his friends sailed away! Yay! Uh... Yay! has the fork in his fucking eyes. And the teeth. And the drowning. And the boy. Looks waterlogged. What the fuck? Those are really well-made costumes. The end! Hmm? Thank you, Pika Dave. Uh, this, these are the credits. These are these are definitely the credits. Those models look super cool. Yes, they do, Kako. They're they look fucking gruesome. All right, let the credits play out. So, I think I'm done, cause it would be the normal ending. It would be the right the the, 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 the like like weird ending, and the super bad ending. I think I'm done. But, probably a good idea to, like, check the game files just in case. This game, like, relies on showing it, like, uh, video files for the secrets. So if you just go into the game files, it's probably, like, they're, they're probably just gonna be, like, splayed out, like, right over on the game files. So, let's try out. Thank you for playing! That's okay, GB, by the way. You don't have to spam everything until I have to acknowledge you. That's okay. You don't need to do that. The weird music. Alright, let's go into the game files. Doopy doopy doo. Yeah, I should probably not show this on stream fully, so... I'm just gonna have to wait until I find something and then show you this. Broadside N64, binaries. Maybe if I show only like a little bit of it? Maybe like this? Yeah, maybe like this, so that people don't see, like, my folder structure. 
There we go. So these are the game files for the game. You have just literally uh, Win64, like this is just a standard file. This is the exe for the game. Engine, which is Unreal, Broadside N64. Movies. What the fuck is that? Oh, the, there's a lot more here than the game didn't show. Am I getting spoiled? Hold on, let me go. Uh, I'll we'll go back uh, later. Broadside N64 Windows No Editor dot pack. That is literally just an emulator file. It is literally just an emulator file. That I don't have Project 64, so I don't think I can open this. Is this openable? Because this is a dot pack file. This is literally just an emulator file. Huh. Config. Steam VR bindings. Interesting. A v for the VR? Huh. Broadside N64 when shipping. What do you mean shipping? Oh, this is just literally the actual EXE of the game. Never mind. So if this is the files for the game, these must be extras. UE4 prerequisite setup 64. Oh, this is an actual fucking Unreal file. So no, this is not. This is not a secret. Let me just. Increase the size of that so that people can see it on the stream. Third party. These are all just actual files of the game. No secrets or anything. Video. Nothing. Yeah, let's just go into the let's go into the video files. Those are the most interesting parts of this. There's a secret when you wait on the title screen for far too long. Maybe. There we go. Thank you for telling me that. It literally happened to ask- Holy shit, who that? I fucking knew! I fucking knew that there was gonna be a secret like that. I called that out at the start of the stream. Hmm. John, man. Press A to skip. Press. There we go. Alright, got it. Let's continue looking through the game files. Also, I should probably, like, change the size of this window. Hold on a second. Perfect. So, what the fuck are these? Credits, nai nai. Good ending. Jump, Nathan Cole, and proper ending. There's so many of them to see. Let's go to the proxy ones first. So these are obviously just the credits of the game. This is the good ending, which is just... Yeah, that is not the good ending, my friend. 
jump. This is the jump that we saw in the bad ending, I suppose. Let's watch stream. Let's go. Nathan call. This is the call that... Yeah, there you go. Man, that fucker is so creepy in the darkness. Proper ending. The endo. Alright, those are done, so... I guess we'll just have to see all these and see what happens. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh, I feel disgusted just looking at that. A hey. so, uh, we're that reminds me of- you, you know what this reminds me of? Has anybody seen that fucking creep- like Mario- like Super Mario World creepypasta with like the fucking- like like red compressed image of like like what looked like a the, the corpse of a woman like that's what that reminds me of Science, even more money huh now this dude is fucking salty you you with the controller hello you're still here right yeah Ugh. thank goodness Okay, we gotta find my friends. What? Follow the red arrow above my head. That will surely take you to them. Oh, this is cut. B cut one. Yeah, that's not actually in the game, is it? Billboards of our name with a plus sign between. Actually, beating down the corpse of someone. Huh. Bit crushed Gary. God, that's so gruesome. BSB cutscene. You, you with the controller. Oh, that looks cute. Here, right? <sighs> Thank goodness. Maybe he doesn't like chairs. Okay, gotta sure. find my friends. Follow the red arrow above my head. That's so cute! That will surely take you to them. Hold on. You! You with the controller! You're still. Yeah, well, what is that? What is that? Hold on. Very close to the friar. Got in. Dia's ending too. Now you know what happened. Spread the message! DS ending two fixed. Hello there! Because those are all the faces of the people that died. Bucky Mocap. Yeah! Can't really that that's a that's tier that that's fucking copyright, but yeah, that's cute. Also, oh, that's how you did all those animations by literally like mocapping his like movement, at least for a for the base. That's that's fucking cute. That's great. Bucky killing Nathan. Shit. Bucky smash. Okay, this is my favorite one. They, for everybody that wasn't here for the start of the stream, this is my favorite kill. It's just so fucking brutal. It's just so brutal! And the sounds, too! Oh, 
Jesus! Oh! Hell yeah. What the fuck did I come back to? Some cool shit! Oh, there's a bunch of, the uh, wasted black space after that. Wonder why. Call one. Ew. Hello? Who's this? Hey, this is Mark. Oh! Hello! What's going on? Well, today's the day, buddy! Hey, you got the demo ready? Demo? Oh, yeah! It's all set up! When are you coming over? Uh, 5 p.m. sharp. I'll be bringing Brandon over to film the commercial, like you asked. Oh. Already? You did ask for it. I... Alright. Hmm. Call two. Okay. So... You use this little stick with your thumb down here. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, these are all alternate this versions. Is the weirdest remote I've ever held. Yeah. It is not too well designed. Now move the joystick around. Er, look, it, it doesn't even look like Bucky. What? <sighs> Buddy, you, you know what I mean. Just <sighs> look. This, this is Bucky. This is the face Cut millions around the world the, recognize the as a pop culture icon. That is a beaver in a blue suit. Yeah, these are all alternate versions of the of the calls that we heard at the end of the game. Who's this wolf guy? What? Connor, you're... Connor. We're not making this game for your son, Connor. Connor, I... Your company sunk into studio grounds. Do you really think we can extend our generosity to you for that much longer to create this? I don't know. I don't know. What do you What do you call it? A game? I can see I'm not wanted here. Ah. Uh. Controller tutorial. Not really using that. Oh, there's actually a model for it. Hold the controller like this. There's so much cut stuff. Credits, goddammit. Credits, nine nai Credits, V-million. You! You with the controller! You're still here, right? Ugh. Thank goodness. Okay, we gotta find my friends. Follow the red arrow above my head. That will surely take you to them. A Bucky. Hey. Oh, these are just PNGs. Yeah, these are like alpha versions of the cutscenes. I do prefer the final versions, actually. Yeah, these are all just like alternate, like alpha versions of the cutscenes. <laughs> Death Gary. Oh, there we go. I used to be a man named Gary Wilson. There was a mascot handler at Broadside. Terraria font. <laughs> One night it went to the kitchen after my shift. Little did I know of the visitor I'd meet. Wanna see? Oh, is this gonna be like the cutscene of the death? There you go, yeah, yeah. Christ. Nathan? I used to be blah 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 named Nathan Stewart. I was an animator at Broadside's offices. I was in the offices late at one night sending an email when I heard of the visitor. Getting closer. Ow. 
And that's the chair death, yes. It's just a confirmation of what happened to each of them. Nathan Stewart, 1972 by until 1990. Death Olive. I used to be something something Olivia Finch. I was a voice actor. One night I was asked by my visitor to see him at the lake. That's when I saw my visitor. Pulling me under. Ow, 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 my fucking ears. God, that's creepy. Drown V2, Drown V3, end of demo. Ew, what is that? End of demo! Jesus. So much, like, alternate versions of the cutscenes and everything, like, all splayed out right here. Gary Colors. Death. G. Jai Cut. <laughs> that sounds like the fucking. Uh. uh I don't know. I, I can't say what that sounds like. Heartbeat 2. Wooden puppets lay across the island. They make strange noises that seem to create something something. Gather all of them and take them to the campsite. Is that a real thing? Is that a real thing that's in the game? Wooden puppets lay across the island. They make strange noises that seem to recreate the surrounding sound. Gather them all and take them to the campsite. Huh. It's what you did. Oh, those are those were wooden puppets? I thought that they were the otter. Oh my god. Mark is a sick motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking cry. What is this what is this one? It's literally just the, the, the credits again. Why are there so many versions of the credits? Mid-ending. Congrats! You're stuck about halfway! No good or bad ending! Just a waste of time. We're just remove the game. Yeah! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Studio Grounds. What was that song from? What? Why do I remember it? It's Wally. There you go. There we. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Perfect. I. I. Yeah. I, I swear. I remember it from something. All of dams. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, perfect. Olivia Spooky. Oh, this is supposed to be Olivia. The corpse of Olivia, at least. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. A plushy teaser? Oh, 
Oh, is that a fucking makeshift? There's gonna be some like edited like yeah! <laughs> Fucking loved bait and switch. Good good job. Good job. Good job. I love I love that bait and switch. I fucking I thought it was gonna be a makeshift thing. Uh there we go. That's a weird Rex Starling One. Ew. Gary Wilson, Giovanni. Oh, this, these are beta versions of the Starling files. God, those characters look gnarly. Stumbler. Hello. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. Huh. I used to be living in town just like all the others before they, uh. Yeah. Hmm. Is that a bunny? Now, you see, others don't really think too much about this, but if you heard of something wonderful called imagination... Hmm, what? You seem like the artistic type. What if I showed you my drawings? I bet that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Happy... <laughs> Happy something. What? What is that? Happy... Silence. <laughs> of course! Come on, follow me! Huh. That doesn't even look, like, old. That looks like a finished cutscene. Yeah, there we go. There is nothing. There is nothing for you here. Yeah, sure there is. Sure there isn't. Hold on, let me open the, the thing again. Walrus to water clip. Bucky, listen, I really need your help. I had a real for me as a year. Bucky, Bucky, hi, hi, listen, listen, I need help. I got really bad. And it's help me get it down from the hold still and never get started. Okay. Wait, hold on, what? I heard you guys get in trouble, but, um, I, I could put it down from there. Yeah, these are different yeah. versions of the same cutscene. Whoa, you did it. Thank you so much, Bucky. I knew I could count on you. Alright, I'm gonna go run up to the shore now and hopefully you can get back. Water 2. Oh, that's a cool effect. Sorry if I'm not commentating much, but, like, I'm legitimately trying to, like, piece together what the fuck is going on here. Ooh! These environments look fucking great! Did, he, did Olivia survive? Yeah, no way, no, never mind. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? I've already put a very bit in the night. Get moving. Yeah, that's the wolf. Oh, that's what he's saying. You're the best. All right, this was fucking fascinating. I think that's pretty much all of it. Since we saw the actual game files, like, we know that there's not much of anything else that this game can throw at us. The one thing I want to check before we finish this off, I want to check if there's, like, anything else inside of that secret door uh, with Olivia. And, like, the, with the beating heart. Because... That is, like, the one thing that I'm curious about, because that's not really a cutscene. There's a folder called Resources Ignore. Alright, I'll check that out later. Just give me a second.
Because I want to see what the fuck is up with the beating heart room. Mmm, Organ Sky. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious what's going on here. It's literally just a whistleblower that got his game canned in the middle of it, and as revenge, compiled a bunch of documents uh, that would, like, blow the whistle off this, like, weird company that, like, takes his, like their employees' corpses and turns them into animated characters? I don't really understand why. I mean, sure, because it's creepy, but what the fuck would be the point of doing that when you can just run a regular business? There we go. Anything to do in this beating heart room that we haven't done? Maybe there's like a character or somebody I can talk to? Or is just here for like spookiness sake? Because the entire point is that this is supposed to be a, a whistleblower game. Like, there's supposed to be like a, like a proof of what is happening in the island, but... I don't understand why there's haunted elements to this. Why not just... Yeah, there we go. And she's gone. Why not just simply... Just package them into easily readable files? Because all that other shit with the heart, with the beating heart and stuff, that obviously looks like something that would be in a possessed or like haunted game. But if the thing is, is that this is just a whistleblower kind of thing, then why would you include include all this creepy stuff? If anything, wouldn't that take away from the from the fact that you're trying to like show that this company is evil? Because like people are not gonna take you seriously if you're gonna add spooky creepypasta elements to this game. Oh, I guess, I guess the, the dad, I guess, could have died out and haunted the cartridge. Maybe that's what's going on here. Well, ha uh, I'm, I'm not really, like, too into the lore of this, but I guess that's what's going on. All right, finally, we are going to go into that ignore folder that you guys told me. All right. Where is this ignore folder? Is this left for his son? Yes. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Where is it in the folder? I'm not... F I can't find it. It's in the main root? Uh, no, it isn't. This is the main route. Broadside N64 engine. Broadside N64.exe. It's not on the shipwreck folder. Redist. Yeah, this is the prerequisite setup. Third party, DBG help, NVIDIA. This X, Windows. There's one folder that people keep telling me that I should see. Config, Steam VR. Binaries. Yeah, the movies are all here. We've all seen we've seen these already, so. Hmm. What about packs? Well, that's a file. That's not a folder, that's literally just a file. Yeah, but that's not in the game, GB. Oh well. If I can't find it in the actual files, then I'm not gonna show it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. I guess that's it, then. Uh, this was, this was kind of cool. Uh, people are telling me to find something. It's in the main zip file outside of Shipwreck 64. Well, I didn't download that, definitely. So... I just downloaded the main game. I didn't download the ex... I didn't download any extra files, so whatever. Anyway, I think we're done with the stream. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, let me put on some music. What should be good? Maybe the actual bomb on battlefield. There you go. Alright. That was fucking cool. Certainly not, like, a huge game, but still pretty cool. I think it's a great start to Analog Horror Week, so whatever. Hey, yo, Phil. Tigera made fan art. I'll go see that. I don't know why why she did that. Let me show this real quick. Mounds. Thank you, Tigera, as always. Bill, for fuck's sakes, check the Discord. You can't tell me what to do, motherfucker! I'll see you guys tomorrow for mystery game number three uh, with, uh, with Nick. And uh, Nick is gonna be on the stream. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Hopefully you guys are enjoying Analog Horror Week. Bye-bye!